Welcome to Two Minute Tuesdays. This week we are talking about e-discovery within Microsoft Teams and what happens when you go in and edit what was said within a conversation or a one-to-one -one chat or a one-to-many chat. And thanks out to Stefan for this week's post. So what we're going to do is actually type in a new message within here. Maybe you want to send it some NDA documents or discuss an NDA document with somebody that we shouldn't, like Miriam here. We can go in and then edit this. So if we click on the ellipsis, edit. And maybe we didn't mean to put it public there. Maybe we we're talking about a different project. So you'll see that I've edited this now and it shows within here. So if we head over to the admin portal and then the security and compliance portal, if we scroll down and go down to e-discovery. I've already started a case I put in some criteria to be able to find this information really easily. So I've got nothing on hold today. If I click on search and open up my new search terms, the search criteria I've put in kind to actually find Microsoft Teams information. And we can find that using the keyword and query search. And there's a list here within kind. I'll put the link in the description. Also, I've got a date, which is today's date, and any information from Megan. The location I'm going to pick everywhere for now and actually run the search. So you can see within here, we can see the original item with the NDA information that we're talking about. And here we have individual IMs to show what it was changed to. If the user's mailbox is hosted online, all these chat conversations are stored within the hidden area within the user's mailbox. If the user resides on premises, then it's still possible to discover one-to-one -one or one-to-many chats. And I'll put a description of how to do that below. It's storing that data within a secure area within your tenant called the cloud storage for one-to-many and one-to-one -one chats, meaning the content searches and e-discovery can pick this information up really easily. That's it for this week. Feel free to leave any comments below and we'll see you again soon.